Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to look at contrast enhancement technique. Um, so contrast enhancement is basically a form of image, image enhancement and it's one of the most simple operations that is used in medical image analysis. Okay. And this is primarily done to improve the identification of a particular features in an image, basically to make something appear more bright or more distinctive from the background. Okay. Um, so you call it contrast enhancement because contrast, you know, if you want to define contrast, it's basically how different resident is from the background. Okay. Um, and it's also, a, you know, um, contrast enhancement, noise enhancement together, noise reduction together. Um, and with, in combination with, like I mentioned earlier, em, uh, emphasis of different structures on the image. Okay. So we, uh, like we also, like we had also, uh, like I had also mentioned um, earlier, we will just look at the formulation of these um, techniques and I will show them, show the results in a separate class. So the idea behind this um, method is to have for every um, pixel in an image F, you have to find a new value G uh, through a linear mapping. Okay, so it's a linear transformation. Not say a linear transformation, I will say linear mapping. And typically what you do is you want to map all the pixel values in F to a range between I max and I min. So this I max and I min is chosen by the user, typically a clinician or radiologist who in his experience knows the best I max and I min. Okay. This process is also called adjusting the window and level primarily because you can choose a level L and from there you can go W over 2 to the right, W over 2 to the left. So which means you will be mapping between L minus W over 2 to L plus W over 2. So let's see what how it's actually done. So the formula, I'll write this down, is G of F, that's the transformed intensity, is equal to F minus F min. We have I max no, sorry, min divided by F max minus F min plus I min. Okay, um, so this G is called often called the transfer function. Okay, so you can you can actually see that if you plug in the appropriate values, you, you will get the desired um, you know result. So for instance, when f you can try to see when f is equal to f min and f is equal to f max, then this the G then goes to I min. And in this case, G goes to I max. You can just plug the values in here and then verify that. Now, um, <clears throat> here what you're doing is taking every pixel value in F. Um, of course, we're identifying the minimum and the uh, maximum values in F. I denote them as F max and F min. And then you're trying to lean, uh, do a linear mapping. So think of this expression here as estimating the slope. Okay, so you're doing a linear fit, you're estimating a slope here, and then you can you're just using a straight line fit to go from F to G. Okay, so this uh, this process is often done with uh, CT images. Okay, CT images are typically 12 bit images, 12 bits. So which means that they go from they have uh, 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 4096 values, right, zero to 4095. This might be a very wide dynamic range wherein you know you might not see be able to see very good contrast between let's say lesion or a tumor and background a small tumor and a background so you might want to map this into a slightly uh, smaller range maybe you want to go to 0 to 255 so this is the 8 bit range right where maybe you get better contrast okay so this is um, one way of doing the um, uh, transformation now uh, once again you know this f min and f max are not necessarily need not come from the maximum and minimum values in an image. So the maximum and minimum values in a given image might not be meaningful. So you are also allowed to set your own, uh, instead of f min and f max, you know, instead of f min, you can go to w min and instead of f max, you can go to w max. Okay. And because in the original image f, uh, uh, anything less than w min might not be meaningful. It could be some artifact, some error. 
anything greater than w max might not be meaningful also so when you do this kind of mapping then you have to make sure you do a thresholding operation also find out all the pixel values less than w min and then turn them into i min which is what is here and then find out all the pixel values greater than w max and find out uh, and set it to um, i max right but of course there is some conditions here which is basically uh, you you want to make sure that w min and w max are within the range i min and i max okay that's one other um, condition from which then you can map easily okay so again there are there are variations of this so this is the you know the simplest version and often done so this is which called the window and level often done on ct images so this is one of the most simplest contrast enhancements and you will end up doing this often so for instance even if you are let's say doing deep learning right and you have a bunch of ct volumes to process so it will be nice before you provide these uh, uh, ct images as inputs to a neural network a cnn for instance in order to have an outcome you might want to do the window and level on this image so so one of the strategies that people often use is to have an ensemble of uh, networks wherein each network has an input um, adjusted to a different window and level okay so that it highlights uh, you know different anatomies or structures of interest so this is a commonly used trick okay so that's all we have for contrast enhancement so in the next video we will look at you know um, other techniques thank you